everyone, Jenny from Crazy Butt Cricket here, and I just got this fun box from Totally Tiffany, and as you can see, it's the desk made four piece set. Um, I was asked to review this, so I'm gonna just let's take it out of the box together. Let's check it out. So, here's how the box comes. Well, oops, sorry about that. Package and protected. You get three boxes in there. Something that they um, want you to be very aware of is that you um, get three boxes, but there is still four, um, it's still a four piece set. So let me go ahead and get these open. We'll come okay, right back. So I've taken everything out of the box, and this here is the stadium arranger, and it's just one piece. Um, you do get this sheet here that tells you. Um, what's included in the set and an idea how to um, what to put in it and it does say um, again here note the pencil perch and the pen ink palace are packaged together in one box the pen and ink palace ships with the shelves removed to assemble with the shelf lip extending up slide each shelf into the slots in the frame so the lip is in the back and the finger hole is in the front so um, gives you the tips on how to put together here is the um, wood made pen and ink palace. And I just took those out. And then again, here is the um, pencil perch. So that's the one that they, because um, sometimes people get confused, I guess, because there's only three boxes. And um, the fourth is just packaged in there like that. So that's the pencil perch. And then here is the tool tower. And just like that. So that's all one piece. So I'll go ahead and put these together and start putting some stuff in there and I will let you guys know what I think. We'll be back. Okay, so real quick, I had um, this standing the wrong way. I had it this way before. So it actually, this is the pen and pink palace and it goes like this and I just wanted to show, um, just as it says according to the directions, you're going to put the drawers in and they're going to slide in just like that so that you can put in each of the drawers. Not hard at all. So that's good. It's not um, not super difficult to figure out or anything. And then that way um, the drawers can come out. You can work on them as you want, which I like that. So I don't, I'm not tied to that. And um, it has the lip. So when you put things on here, they won't just slide off into the back. So that's also a nice feature. So, so far so good. I like that. You can take that out and take it with you if you're working somewhere. So that is assembly for the Pen and King Palace. Alright, we'll come back and take a look at uh, when it's put together. Okay, here we're back and I just wanted to take a final look with at all the pieces with stuff in them. And so let's go ahead and start here with the pencil perch. And I don't have a large collection of colored pencils. So for me, I filled the um, second and third row. And then the last row, I just put my watercolor brushes in there. And they fit just perfect. And I like that I can see all the sizes that I have. And they're protected so I won't have to worry about the ends getting smashed or anything like that. So really nice piece and sturdy. The next one I want to take a look at here is the tool tower. And I like all the different compartments and the difference in height. I'm able to fit pretty much anything. I've got the short scraper here, I've got my tools, my smaller scissors back here, and I have pens and pencils here. My other tools, bone folders, spatulas. I have um, my detailed pens over here, like white gel pens and stuff like that. And here in the very back, here you can see the standard scissors fit, just perfect. So I like that feature. And also the tall rulers just nicely up there in the back. So again, this is a 
a longer piece but it's narrow so it doesn't take up a lot of uh, realty on your craft space or craft area so that is a nice feature I like that the next one here is the uh, pen and ink palace I love the names <laughs> Um, this one, I just put some distress ink pads up here. I have a few reinkers, my um, distress sponge, whatever it's called, and I have a bunch of these um, smaller, the cat eye shaped uh, distress inkers. And I was able to fit quite a bit on there. I could still put in some more, and I like that I can take the tray off and take it with me to a different area. And on this next shelf, I just put I put some more of those in a standard pad and some of the sponges and standard size ink pads. And on this one, more ink pads. And then there's the two rows of markers there at the bottom. So this was really nice to be able to condense. I had a lot of stuff spread all over, so this was nice to get it smaller and in a more condensed piece. And the last one's probably my favorite because um, I obviously use my Cricut a lot. Judging from my name, you can tell crazy about Cricut. And I like to, I have a bunch of uh, handbooks that I use more often. So I like to have them within arm's reach. So I was able to fit 10 handbooks in each section. And up there, you can also fit up to four cartridges. Um, as well in, in each section. So 30 handbooks and 12 cartridges, you can squeeze all that into here. So I really love being able to have them right here and just, you know, get them out and comfortably and easily get them back in from the front or the back. You could probably squeeze in one, maybe two more, but that'd be a little bit tighter and you wouldn't be able to flip through them quite as easy, I think. So depending on how you use this whether you just want it for access or not, you can fit 10 to maybe 12 in each section. So anyway, there you go. I appreciate Totally Tiffany for giving me the opportunity to check these out. And I really enjoyed being able to clean up my craft space a bit and get some more real estate back on my decks. So thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.